Welcome to the College Football Bros. I'm Michael Newman. I'm Ryan Newman. And I'm Trey Newman. All right, this game got snubbed for game day, but arguably the biggest game of the day. We got Penn State at Iowa, and we'll get to our against the spread picks a little bit later in the episode. But the first question we have here is, fact or fiction, the winner of this game is the best team in the Big Ten? It is a, it's a tough question, uh, and I might, some people may be surprised, but I'm going to say fact uh, on this one here, because right now, uh, I, I would probably lean with Iowa, honestly, being uh, the best team in the Big Ten. The way they have been playing, just been dominating folks, especially with that insane defense. If they back it up with another big win against Penn State, a top five team, I think it just kind of further solidifies the fact that they're really deserving. Now... Penn State, if they go on the road and beat an impressive Iowa team, I got to give them a ton of credit for that. So the question is, Ohio State, is the winner going to be better than Ohio State? And it's it's close. It it really is. There's definitely some debate. But I'm going to say fact, though. I think, uh, you know, these two teams have proven a lot up to this point, and whoever wins this one will be sitting really pretty. Okay, I'm going to go fiction. Now, obviously, whoever wins this game should be ranked the highest in the Mm -hmm. in the Big Ten. But as far as who I think is the best. I think I would still stick with Ohio State. I think Ohio State on a neutral field would be favored against Iowa or Penn State or Michigan if you want to throw them in there. Um, you know, I know Ohio State had that not so great game against Oregon, but they've lost worse games and gone on to win the Big Ten, even win national championships. So, um, you know, they've got Travion Henderson and that offense rolling. CJ Stroud played really well uh, against Rutgers, who's not a terrible defense. They're actually pretty decent. Um, so I know the defense is their weakness, but everyone has has some weakness uh, outside of, you know, maybe Alabama and Georgia. So I, I like Ohio State. I agree. I had a safe fiction as well, just because I do think it's that that team in Columbus as well. But you know what? It kind of does sound weird because it might if I really had to, like, get down into it, it might depend on the winner of this game, because if Penn State were to win this game, I think I could make a very good case for them being the best. They're well-balanced, have a very good defense, and will have really the best resume in the the conference, winning at Wisconsin and Iowa and home to Auburn. Whereas I feel like if Iowa wins, I still feel that the, the weakness of their offense is worse than the Ohio State's weakness of their defense. That's just the way I was kind of looking at it. Yeah, that's fair. And maybe it depends on, you know, if one of these teams blows the other out, maybe that'll kind of change the calculus. Yeah. But- I don't see that happening, but we'll see. I also didn't see Iowa blowing out Maryland last weekend, so I guess you never know. Uh, Okay, let's make our picks in this game. So who do you like against the spread, Ryan? It's uh, Iowa's favored two and a half. No reason to pick pick against the Hawkeyes at this point for me. Um, I'm going to stay on that bandwagon. I think they're real, real good. That defense is just so hard to go up against. You're going to make mistakes. Any little mistake, they're going to get an interception. Tagovailoa found that out the hard way last week. So, they, But they've been doing it to folks for like the last 11 games. They've won 11 games in a row. They just know how to play their strengths. Um, and I think the offense, it's been held back a little bit. I think they have probably more that they could show um, if they needed to in a tight game. Maybe like this, they might be. So, But with Sam Laporta at tight end, he's a good good option uh tyler goodson running back he's kind of done more of like a all-purpose type of back so far he's he's caught the ball real well this year so that's a nice added dimension for the offense so i think with those types of pieces i I trust iowa's defense to always be there i'm taking them okay i'm i'm going the other way i'm taking penn state um just because i mean with iowa favored two and a half at home it's you're kind of just asking who do you think is better um and i think penn state's a little better i think they both have great defenses Maybe Iowa's a little better, but I don't think it's a a big gap there. And I just trust Penn State's offense more. So Penn State's third in the Big Ten in passing success rate. You know, you got Jahan Dotson, Parker Washington, two really good receiving threats. Sean Clifford playing uh, a lot better than he was last season. And Iowa, on the other hand, 13th in the Big Ten in success rate passing the ball. So um, I just think with, with that efficiency, that element of the offense that maybe Iowa doesn't have, uh, that makes me lean towards Penn State. And also just the fact that this is going to be probably an ugly, low-scoring game, and I tend to take points in that instance, even just two and a half points. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, Penn State, They're first of all, they're trying to buck some trends. They haven't won a road game against a top-five team since 1994. And when you look at this game in particular, 
I know the Hawkeyes offense, they're, what, 118th in the nation in yards per game, and they're going against a top five defense, but they just have this ability to kind of muck a game up. I trust their defense uh, to to do that. I could totally see them, um, you know, being able to stifle Sean Clifford. I presume they're going to key in and, and stop Jahan Dotson as much as they can. And, you know, out, last week against Maryland, they looked outstanding. I know they, of course, they forced seven turnovers, and the game kind of dictated it. But Petrus and that offense looked about as good as it had all year. So maybe they're finding a little bit of a rhythm coming into this one. Uh, so I just think that Iowa's going to get a, a tight victory. All right. Uh, thank you for watching this episode of the College Football Bros. Let us know in the comments below who you're picking in this game. Um, and be sure to check out our Oklahoma, Texas preview as well, which is uh, on our YouTube feed. So appreciate that. We'll see you next time. You've been watching the College Football Bros. Be sure to subscribe here on YouTube and in your podcast app for college football content all year round. For bonus episodes and access to our Discord chat, join our Patreon at patreon.com slash college football bros. Thanks for watching.